Hey folks, this is Kalani. I want to talk to you about the Achievement Historian of Westmarch. This is the achievement to get all of the world law books in Act 5. Now, this includes the History of Westmarch, the Plague Tunnels, the Deserter's Journal, the History of Pandemonium, Discovery of Sanctuary, and Nephilim Rifts. So, we're going to work through these in order of the achievement, so we'll be looking at History of Westmarch first. History of Westmarch is the only one which you need to be in campaign mode for, because it actually depends on the quests. You will need to have up to, let's have a quick look see here, up to 7, Breaching the Fortress. You'll need to have access to quest 7 and the ones previous to be able to do this achievement. The rest can be found on Adventure Mode. Now, as with all of this kind of video, from me at least, you can find all of the individual books in the description below. They'll have timestamps, so if you want to skip to a certain one, feel free to do so. But, let's get started. First up, we're going to look at the history of Westmarch. Now, this is a little interesting, as I say. You need to use different quests. So, we'll go ahead and take Souls of the Dead, begin quest. Now, what's nice is that these are all from the exact same satchel, so you just need to go up to Diadra and her satchel on the floor. There's part one. West March originally grew from the efforts of so we'll leave the game. So what we need to do is go into game settings. We'll change this to the end of quest two. I will not do that. That should give us part two. There's part two. Leave once again. The next quest we're going to be looking at is Harbinger. So let's go down to the Harbinger. We want begin quest. That should get us part three. So, for part four, we need to change the quest to Westmarch Heights, Harbinger, Westmarch Heights. And this is the only one we need to do some legwork for. So when your game loads in, you need to go complete the first part of the quest. So we'll enter Westmarch Heights. Complete that little section, waypoint back, and go grab our book. So that's part four. We want to swap the quest to the witch. That should get us part five. Swap over to Battlefields of Eternity. There's part six. Now, last but not least, we want to go to Breaching the Fortress. And there's our very last part seven. The Plague Tunnels book is located in the Plague Tunnels dungeon. This is a dungeon in the West March Commons. Now, your first adventure is finding the entrance to the dungeon. Once inside, you can find the book in a satchel lying around on level 1 or 2, by the looks of things, which is just named the Plague Tunnels. Interact with the satchel and you'll get yourself the book. Bear in mind that the Plague Tunnels can be relatively large and the satchel can be quite annoying to spot, so make sure you clean everything out and I believe it's a guaranteed spawn. The Deserter's Journals can be located in the Caverns of Luray. This is a dungeon located in the Paths of the Drowned. So you want to go ahead and TP over to the Paths of the Drowned and find the Caverns of Luray. It can spawn around the edges and it can spawn within the middle section, so make sure you clean out the entirety of the paths. Now, the books are inside satchels located throughout level 1 and 2. I've only found them on level 2 personally, and I've only found two within one game. So, you may have to reset your game a few times, but they're definitely out there. The history of Pandemonium can be incredibly infuriating to collect, but not so much as the next one over. So, the history of Pandemonium is located on a 
interactable object called angelic scrolls. Now, these scrolls spawn in the battlefields of eternity. I don't know if they're a guaranteed spawn. They do seem to spawn quite often, but they're incredibly easy to miss. So, they may spawn more often than you can find them. It's just a case of you've glanced over it, which I did countless times before doing another check over of the map. So, make sure you clean out the battlefields of eternity quite thoroughly and make sure you, you're definitely keeping your eye out for these scrolls. You'll need to collect quite a few of them. Bear in mind that I've only seen one angelic scrolls per game that I've created. I've never seen more than one, so when you get one, chances are you'll need to recreate your game. The discovery of Sanctuary is exactly the same as the history of Pandemonium, except you're looking for a different interactable object. So you're in the battlefields of eternity, again, so I'd recommend doing these two at the same time, but you're looking for Ancient Corpse instead of Angelic Scrolls. Now, the Ancient Corpse is very rare by the looks of things, or just incredibly annoying to find. So. Step 1 is clearing out the battlefields of eternity, step 2 is probably combing it again to make sure you haven't missed it because it really does seem to be the rarest spawn out of any book that I've, I've found thus far which is kind of crazy and you need to find it three times to get all three parts because this is the only way to get this book. So be prepared to spend quite a bit of time on this one alone and it's probably going to be the thorn in your side for finishing this achievement. finish off this achievement, you'll need to find the Nephilim Rifts book. Now, surprise, surprise, this is located in the Nephilim Rifts. If you've not ventured here yet, now's a good time to start. Anyone who's gone through a Nephilim Rift before probably has this book. So, you get this book from the Rift Guardian, which spawns when you kill enough monsters in a Nephilim Rift. So that's it for the Historian of Westmarch achievement and this video. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you. Apart from that, remember to leave a like below the video just before you leave, and if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.